Uh, Preston has a question. He says, I have a question about the three sets of eight workout and the DeLorme protocol. Hey, one of my online friends found out something interesting about his neighbor the other day. It's Thomas DeLorme's son. I just find that so great. So, and, well, that's enough. You've written and talked about selecting the load for a three sets of eight workout by basing load on the third set. So all three sets are the same load. In an article you wrote for bodybuilding.com about the DeLorme protocol, the weight, three sets of weight got heavier. Would the results of the two different workouts be similar? Do they have different purposes and goals? Also, would you structure a three sets of eight workout like the DeLone protocol template that you describe in the article? Vertical press, vertical pull, horizontal press, horizontal pull, squat. Huh? That would be a hard three sets of eight workout, but yeah, you could do that. So, okay, so one of the things about studying Thomas DeLorme, it's just like, studying well, anybody in, the, in my field, including me, is he would say certain things in 1944 when he start, first started working with the, the, the guys who got blown up in World War II. By 1948, he had streamlined that quite a bit. The original plan was for every exercise, and he expected full body workouts, so nine exercises, 10 sets of 10. That was, his, that was it. Later, he figured out that's way too much and slid down to seven. Well, that's still 70 sets of squats three days a week, man. I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't know if I could do that. And then uh, he, he simplified it down to three sets of 10. And then, then he gave us two versions of what to do next. So three sets of 10, which most of us adopted into three sets of eight as time went on, which is another number DeLorme worked with. Uh, because, well, and honestly, because eight is a Fibonacci number and 10 is not. That's why I do it. Sadly, that's true. Um, and then he later moved, gave us this idea for general power and uh, what we would call hypertrophy, uh, size and strength, where you did a set of 10 at 50% of what you could do a set of 10 at. Then you did a set of 10 at 75, later lower to 70 percent. Uh, I don't know why, but I think there's one. And then you did that third set of 10. And here's the thing. And Brian Mann, who M-A-N-N -N, from University of Miami, uh, I think when he was at Missouri, came up with this. Mann studied this and found that that is still one of the most successful protocols. And Mann's idea was this. If on that last set of 10, that hard set of 10, if you only got six, obviously you need to lighten up next workout, okay? If you got seven, eight, I think, uh, and you're supposed to get a set of 10, you know, you kind of, okay, let's see what's going on. If you got nine, 10, 11, yeah, you're right now. You're in your wheelhouse. Stay that same weight next time. If you got 12, 13, 14, 15, you probably want to go up next workout. And if you got a lot more than uh, 13, 14, 15, 20, whatever, then you'd really want to really reconsider your what you thought was a set of 10. So I use three sets of eight with one minute rest. And I do that in the program I'm doing as I'm speaking today. It's called the transformation program. Um, Mondays, uh, three, well, day one, three sets of eight, one minute rest. I do power curls. That's a power clean with a curl grip. I do military presses. Uh, I do some other stuff, and but th that's the core of the workout. Wednesday, I do whip snatches. That's high hang power snatches. Three sets of eight with a minute rest. Then I do clean grip uh, snatches. Uh, basically, I slide the weight down to about one inch above my knee. Three sets of eight, clean grip snatch. Uh, three sets of eight. And then on Friday, which is a workout. It's hard. Three sets of eight with one minute rest in the front squat, and then three sets of eight, one minute rest in the overhead squat. And I flip the exercises each, uh, every other week. I flip, you know, uh, week one, that's the order. Week two, I just twist the exercises around. I make sure I work my abs hard on this program. And I do extra glute work and I do extra uh, joint work. Uh, for me, curls and tricep extensions, uh, uh, I mean, uh, light hyper extensions. What, it, um, I don't know, it's to me, it's just making sure I got some lubrication in certain parts of my body. But yeah, those those are very good workouts and you really can. Uh, it, it, it doesn't sound very sexy. Three sets of eight isn't sexy. 
The three set of 10, three sets of 10, three sets of 10, going heavier every time isn't very sexy. But like Brian Mann it talks about in his article, it works and it's always worked and we got to keep thinking it can work. It's not nearly as sexy as uh, the, what a lot of the people who use extra supplements uh, take, but it, it works. Okay, great question. Thank you so much.